Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. We have already seen something called simplistic population model and we have also seen the so called logistic population growth model. Now we are in a position to discuss something called logistic population growth with constant harvesting. What do we mean by this term harvesting? Harvesting means the reduction in the population due to certain factors. This means that in a certain system or in a certain atmosphere not only the population is growing but there is a factor of reduction in the population as well constant reduction for example you have a cattle uh, you have a farm where you are keeping cattle let's say you are keeping goat sheep or maybe buffaloes uh, so get increasing so they get increasing with time but uh, now let's assume that they are following logistic model but assume that they are also decreasing they are also reducing there is also reduction they are also dying or whatever uh, so so the population is also decreasing with re reducing with a factor uh, that we will be uh, incorporating into our model so previously our logistic population model was given by dx by dt to be ax into 1 minus x over n where a was some constant and n was our carrying capacity but this time we introduce something called minus h where this minus h is really the so called harvesting constant harvesting in the model we want to study this model uh, we want to analyze its equilibrium solutions so for simplicity we can assume for example let's say a is 1 and n is also 1 and that that gives me this differential equation is dx by dt to be x times 1 minus x minus h so this means my f of x in this case is going to be x times 1 minus x minus h so f of x is x times 1 minus x minus h to find the equilibrium solution we must set f of x to be 0 that gives me x times 1 minus x minus h to be 0 and this is simple quarter equation that we need to solve our x square minus x plus h to be 0 so you can use quadratic formula that gives me 1 plus minus uh, 1 minus 4 h over 2 or maybe we can write 1 over 2 plus minus 1 minus 4 h divided by 2 so there are indeed two equilibrium solutions but they are not really two they also depend on something called h because these roots might be 2 or they might be 1 or they might be none so we can define discriminant in this case which is 1 minus 4 h so if this discriminant is greater than 0 that means 1 minus 4 h is greater than 0 that gives me indeed yeah in this case h is non-negative I, I forgot to assume so h is non-negative so h is greater than 0 from this we will get that h is also less than 1 by 4 so if h is lying between 0 and 1 over 4 then we have two equilibrium points or two equilibrium solutions but if discriminant is equal to 0 that gives me h to be 1 over 4 in this case I have got only one equilibrium point or 
one equilibrium solution but if delta is less than zero that means h is greater than one by four so there is no equilibrium point so we have got three categories if h is between zero and one over four we have two equilibrium points if h is one by four then we have got one equilibrium point and if h is greater than one by four then we have no equilibrium point so in each case we can discuss that in the first two cases when we have got uh, equilibrium points we can discuss uh, whether those equilibrium points are stable or unstable so let's move to the very first case that is when h is between 1 over 4 and 0 so in this case this is going to be the these are going to be the equilibrium solutions so in fact these are two one of them is similar and the other one is the greater so the similar one is going to to be left on the left side on the x-axis and the greater one is on the right side so I define x star sub l to be 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4 h over 2 and i also define x star sub r that means right to be 1 minus 1 minus 4 h over 2 we can recall the theorem that was discussed previously that gives us criteria to do to, to tell whether the equilibrium point is stable or unstable for in order to use that theorem we need to calculate its the derivative of f so f of x was equal to x times 1 minus x minus h which is equal to minus x square plus x minus h so its derivative is going to be minus 2x plus 1 so now if I substitute if I want to analyze x stars of left which is 1 minus 1 minus 4h over 2 then I can see that uh, fx star of x star sub l f prime of x star sub l is going to be minus 2 times of 1 minus 1 minus 4 h over 2 uh, then we have plus 1 so this gets cancelled with this this is minus 1 plus 1 minus 4 h plus 1 such as gets cancelled and we have this but we know that this is positive that means x star sub l is source in other words unstable equilibrium point now we can see f stars of x star f prime of x star of r which is going to be minus 2 times 1 plus 1 minus 4 h over 2 plus 1 this is giving me minus 1 minus 1 minus 4 h plus 1 which is going to be minus times 1 minus 4 h which is less than 0 that means x star sub r is sink r stable equilibrium point so for the case mean when h is between 0 and 1 over 4 then we have got something uh, we have got two equilibrium points and one is on the left and the other is on the right and and the left on the left side one is source and the right one is sink let's move to the case two the case two was when h was equal to one by four in that case x star becomes one over two simply because the other side other thing gets zero so f prime eight 1 by 2 is going to be minus 2 times 1 by 2 plus 1 which is 0 
so that means that we can't conclude can't conclude in this case so what to do we need more information how uh, we can analyze it graphically uh, we can see the graph f of x is equal to minus x square plus x minus 1 over 4 and this can be written as minus x minus 0 0.5 whole square so that's a cup down parabola uh, which that's a cup down parabola with vertex 8 0 0.5 comma 0 its vertex is 0 0.5 comma 0 over here so its vertex is over here and the graph looks like something like this cup down parabola passing through 0 0.5 comma 0 now we can see that when x is less than this 0 0.5 the flow is towards left why because x prime and x x prime is negative so flow is towards left but on the other side where x is uh, you know greater than 0 0.5 the flow is also towards left why because uh, the x prime is negative so we have got a new behavior which is showing that from this side from uh, from the values where x is greater than 0 0.5 the behavior is kind of stable or sync in other words the trajectories are moving but if x is less than 0 0.5 then the behavior is another kind of uh, behavior which is kind of source so for h equal to 1 by 4 we have this kind of behavior which is sync from the right side but from the left side it's source so we can see that but when h is greater than 1 by 4 the third category then we have already seen that there are no equilibrium solutions so equilibrium solutions move away so let's conclude this discussion when h was between 0 and 1 over 4 we have two equilibrium points x left and x right and one of them is uh, you know what do we call source and the other one was sink and when h is equal to 1 by 4 we have completely new behavior we have only one equilibrium solution which is 1 over 4 and this uh, it was 1 over 4 or it was 1 over 2 and this point was stable from one side and unstable from the other side but as h is greater than 1 by 4 this equilibrium solution goes away so at h equal to 1 by 4 we have a bifurcation because before 1 over 4 we have another behavior and after 1 over 4 we have got completely another kind of behavior we can see this on bifurcation diagram